Welcome to Kakamega Town, a town located in the western side of Kenya. And of all the things to do in Kakamega, there's one thing that stands out very clearly, and that is visiting the Crying Stone. Locally known as the Hongo Marie, the Crying Stone is located 3 kilometers away from Kakamega Town at a place called Ilesi. It is 40 meters tall with a smaller stone at the top where water mysteriously drains from, that's the name, the crying stone. Up until a few years ago, the water used to flow continuously. Then it suddenly stopped, or rather, started flowing in intervals. What exactly could be the reason behind this? I don't know. In this video, I'm gonna take you with me straight to the crying stone. having you only the best caramel reporting live from Kakamega we are at the crying stone we just want to know the history of the crying stone see if it's still crying or it's dry I hope we learn something new today let's go The tour guide was explaining to us about the different myths that the locals have about the different stones that are there. Like the boat stone belonged to a king who was very promiscuous, so his boat turned into stone and he turned into the crying stone. And he was crying because he lost his wife due to his promiscuity. And there are two caves around the area which also have a different history. She also acknowledged that the planting of trees around the crying stone, like the blue gum trees, which have a lot of water requirement, kind of depleted the water table in the area. So it affected the water flowing from the crying stone. The biggest mystery about the crying stone is how the small stone at the top was able to produce so much water throughout all those years. It still doesn't make sense till today. She also explained how the crying stone brought a lot of uh, conflicts between the Luyas and the Nandis, but the Luyas ended up retaining its ownership.
by the way guys the kakamega airstrip has been reopened there are now flights twice a day from wilson airport to kakamega town by skyward express if you've always wanted to visit kakamega this is your time anyways so we decided to go check out the new technology city it's called mwale medical and technology city it's a few minutes from kakamega town in a place called butere so we just wanted to check it out to see what's up what's popping it's a new development that many locals and investors are very interested in because it has a lot of investment opportunities feel free to visit butere and check it out Mwale Medical and Technology City. This is a new age city. It's coming up, courtesy of Julius Mwale. It's a very beautiful project. It has a state-of-the-art hospital. So then we have a cafe, there's a mall. It's so, it's so beautiful. Like the place is so well designed. The good thing about Mwale Medical and Technology City is that it has accommodated the locals. So it's a really nice project. Yeah, we can walk around as I show you within some of the projects within the Plaza District. Okay. Thank you. It's called the MM, MMTC, Mwale Medical Technology City. Uh, it's a two billion US dollar project, mm. started 2014, and it lies on a 25,000 acre. Um, the city is divided into five districts. We have Plaza, Airport, Golf, Grid, and Industrial District. So, because this is a community based project, yeah. self sustainable city, mm. uh, it incorporates the community. So, the snowboard tour has been displaced from the city. But we have incorporated them, so they are part of the city, part okay. of the development. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, we just got the opportunity to walk around Malé Medical and Technology City, and it's very inspiring what Malé is doing for the community. If there are more people like him, the world would definitely be a better place. Mm -hmm. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we're going to Kakamega Forest, so keep it locked. <laughs> 